All right, Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp. And this is going to be a quick video. Um, when we was at camp yesterday, which was uh, July the 1st, uh, 2022, there was this bugged out dude that came up. And he started, he uh, was saying all kind of, he was spewing out that uh, comedic garbage and he was mixing it with the scriptures and he was all over the place. He was a, a lost soul. And he had mentioned the uh, Anunnaki. And they got, you know, they got their philosophy about them, you know, being the giants and being the, uh, the first the ancient uh, alien civilization that uh, I have some bullshit. It's a bunch of BS, you know, it's a bunch of BS. But you go into the uh, Anunnaki or Anunnaki that actually goes back to a um, uh, bloodline in the, in the scriptures. And I had said that the uh, the and I'm only making this video because to to as a correction of what I said. The, I said the Anunnak goes back to, uh, or the Anunnakums go back to, to the Canaanites, and based on the scriptures, um, and I'm gonna go to the scriptures here in a minute. They would have to go back to the uh, to Mizraim, to the uh, to Mizraim. They would have to go back to Mizraim because those were uh, Mizraim. Uh, one of the sons of Ham, the giants came out of out of Mizraim, and giants just mean they were super tall, you know, not some fictitious bullshit, you know, but they were super tall, like Goliath. Goliath came out of Mizraim. The uh, Phil the Philistines, the Philistines came out of Mizraim. All those super tall um, Hamites, you know came out of uh Mizraim. All right? And you can see that all throughout the scriptures it associate the uh the sons of Mizraim, you know, um as giants and giants or whatnot. So let me play this cuz I miss I misspoke because we know that uh, the Philistines was come out of Mizraim. Okay, if you go back to Genesis the 10th, 10th chapter and you look at the uh who all came out of Mizraim? You'll read about Philip. I think it's uh one of the one of the son one of them uh Philistum. I'll get it. You know, I'll get the name correct. I'll go to the scriptures and show you what I'm talking about. All right, but I said, you know, they came. They were uh, Canaanites, and the Anunnaki were known as giants in the in the scriptures. I mean, they had a real tall uh, stature. Okay, now I was saying that the Philistines, they lived in the land of Canaan too, at a at a particular period of time. That's why we were going to going back to the in the history. Uh, we was warned with the Philistines. You read about uh, the time of the judges. That Samson was warring it with uh, or Samson, who dealt with the Philistine uh, woman, right? And we was uh, we was warned with the with the philistines we was up under the uh, philistines right for going off and samson uh delivered us right so we was in the land of israel at that time samson being a, a danite from the tribe of dan and we were going at it with the philistines where they were in the in the land of canaan okay and you go into the time of uh saul king saul and uh king david coming coming up and uh you know uh hitting killing goliath was goliath was what he was of uh, the philistines a super giant uh you know super tall uh man right and he got his skull cracked with a with a stone by king david and i'm just bringing all that out to uh you know to jog your memory to show that you know the philistines Come out of Mizraim, go uh, go back to 
Well, I'm sorry, lived in the land of Canaan at a particular time period. Let me play this. Saying that you ain't supposed to listen to a man or a prophet, but he said that he was trying to come up here and say something with us. Exactly. Well, maybe he's an animal. Yeah, he's a, he's yeah, a, he's a, he's a, I think he was half and half. Right. He was like a meal from the ice cream. He was one third nigga, one third Christian, and another third fool. Right. Now you understand that Anunnaki is some new age bullshit. All right. That go back. They came out of the scriptures for the sons of Anak. Right. No Anunnaki is the Anak. Those were the sons of Anak. The yeah. Giants, uh, Canaanite. I believe it was Cain. Yeah, Canaanite. Canaanite. Uh, I'm not. Yeah. Got it. They don't even know. Right. Right. Was... Okay. So right there, I made that statement saying that the sons of uh, Anakim, and I'll show you that here in the scriptures, went back to the Canaanites. Now they lived in the land of Canaan, but they couldn't have been a uh, Canaanites because they were they were for one they were described as giants some giants them tall super tall stature uh Hamites went back to those were the people of Mizraim so let's go here because I've been looking into this first thing I wanted to do is go let's type in giants okay and this is where they, them, them clowns don't even know where this come from. Them Kemet guys, they don't even know. They just spew out all this garbage. And uh, a lot of it, they don't even know where the stuff come from. Like uh, Kim, they don't even know what Kim, uh, Kim is the he Hebrew way of saying. Uh, it's really Chum, which is the, that's the Hebrew way of saying Ham. Okay? They don't even know who Kim is. Kim is really talking about him, the father of the so-called uh, Africans, okay? So I typed in giants, and as you see right here in Numbers, Numbers 13 and 33, you see, I'm going to read it. It says, and, and there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants and we uh were in our own sight as grasshoppers and so we were i'm sorry and so we were in their sight all right so you read about a knock right there and that's what and then you read in uh, deuteronomy 2 and 11 it says which also were accounted giants as the anakums and that's where they get that Anunnaki garbage from. It's it's coming out. They don't know it's in the. I don't believe they know it's in the scriptures. I don't. I don't know. But they, you know, they say that uh, the scriptures plagiarize the uh, uh, Egyptian texts or something to that effect. You know, certain Egyptian texts or whatever. The Bible is a plagiarism of Kemet information. You know, something along them lines. You know, I'm not keen in that information, but I'm dealing with the scriptures and cleaning up a statement that I made. Okay. It says, uh, reading it again, Deuteronomy 2 and 11, it says, which also were accounted giants. And you can go read this chapter if you will. And this stuff is not even relevant to the times. I just want to, you know, it was bothering me that I misspoke. And I want to, you know, just make the correction. So it says, which also were accounted giants as the Anakims. Uh, uh, but the Moabites called them uh, Emims. Uh, Emims. Probably saying that wrong. Forgive me. I want to look that up real quick. Come on, man. So right here, see what the other one, let's look at this real quick. Give me a second. So it ain't really giving us nothing on that. All right. So look, we got Anna, um, the Nakums, 
or Ananakim come from Ananak, all right? And it tells you, let's go look at Anakim's. And uh, it would have given us, it says, a tribe of giants, descendants of Anak, which dwelt in southern uh, Canaan. So they must have lived uh, in the area close to the uh, Philistines as well. So you had Mizraim up in the land of uh, Canaan too at a particular time. And now where this goes back to, I believe, and I can possibly get corrected on this. But when you go into it, there's not much information on this. But when you go into the sons of Mizraim, right here, it says, and Mizraim, one of the sons of Ham, right? Okay, so we go right here. I had to find it. Go to Genesis 10 and 6. It says, The sons of Ham, Cush, and Mizraim, and Put, and Canaan. Right there. Then you jump down to the sons that came out of Mizraim. Right here. So we to see that, you go down to verse 13. This is Genesis 10 and 13. It says, And Mizraim beget uh, Ludum and Anna Mim. And I believe that's where the Ananak would have to go back to, if I'm saying it correctly. If I'm saying the name of this Hamite correctly, Anna Mim, I believe that's where the Ananak goes back to. Um, like I said, I could get be corrected on this, um, but this would have to be. They would have to be of Mizraim, though, because they were called the giants. When you read about the giants outside of genesis the sixth chapter uh, it's associated with the sons of mizraim now you can even we can keep reading it says and la uh leha bim and nephat uh nephatum and and going to genesis 10 and 14 and pot the and kasalusum out of whom came Philistine. You see that? That's where you get the Philistines from right there. You see? I may have said it wrong in the beginning of the video, but I told you I was going to show you that Philistines come out of out of Mizraim and they would they were super tall people and they would have to go back to uh right here Philistine. You see? And Kaphatorium. So, going back to that, just showing you that this would have to be where the Anna Anna not go back to. Uh, this man begot of Mizraim. Okay, I'm gonna close it right there. You know, uh, Lord willing, this video was edifying. And until the next one, I say shalom.